Folks, you got to watch this because Ricky Jackson's been through hell on earth and I didn't know they were going to have him on. So this moment is one that must be, must be listened to. Exonerated from a death row. This gentleman here is one of them. This is Ricky Jackson, wrong, wrongfully convicted of murder in 1975. He spent 39 years in prison. He is undecided. Ricky, what's your question? Thank you, Senator. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Um, as stated, I did spend 39 years of my life in prison for a crime, a murder I didn't commit. And um, it was only through heroic efforts of the Ohio Innocence Project at, at the University of Cincinnati that I was ultimately exonerated and am able to stand before you today. I spent some uh, some of those years on death row, and um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, it's okay, brother. I came perilously close to my own execution, and um, in light of that, what I've just shared with you, and in light of the fact that there are un there are documented cases of innocent people who have been executed in our country. I would like to know how can you still take your stance on the death penalty in light of what we you know right now. You know, this is such a profoundly difficult question. And what I have said and what I continue to believe is that the states have proven themselves incapable of carrying out fair trials that give any defendant all the rights that defendants should have, all the support that the defendant's lawyer should have. And I said, I would breathe a sigh of relief if either the Supreme Court or the states themselves began to eliminate the death penalty. Where I end up is this, and maybe it's a a distinction that is hard to support, but at this point, given the challenges we face from terrorist activities primarily in our country that end up under federal jurisdiction for very limited purposes, I think it can still be held in reserve for those. And the kind of crimes I'm thinking of are the bombing in Oklahoma City where an American terrorist blew up the government building, killing, as I recall, 158 Americans, including a number of children who were in the preschool program. The plotters and the people who carried out the attacks on 9-11, but a very limited use of it in cases where there has been horrific mass killings. That's really the exception that I still am struggling with and that would only be in the federal system. But what happened to you was a travesty and I just can't even imagine what you went through and how terrible those days and nights must have been for all those years. And I know that all of us are so regretful that you or any person has to go through what you did. And I hope that now that you are standing here before us that you will have whatever it path nice, you choose uh, they going give forward some money? and that you will get the support you deserve to have. I have to ask Rick, Ricky right. that kind of, is, is that answer satisfactory for you? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to have more questions from the audience. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, uh, that was... That was pretty deep. I didn't expect that one. As to, will he get money for what? I mean, what he being... Did they give him money for all those years? He was I think he's, he's supposed to receive five million. I have to research that. If anybody knows the answer to that, and you see this, put it in the comments section. I will, too. But um, I think he did. 
Yeah, I think it was five million. I think so. Yeah. 